स्ट्रीम आफ्टर डिलीटिंग सिमिलर एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाई गाइज की हाल चाल सब एंगल सी आई होप दैट यू आर डूइंग गुड आई एम सेइंग दिस लेटर ऑन आई डोंट नो व्हाई बट या इट सेज दैट यू आर गिवन अ स्ट्रिंग एस कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ ओनली करेक्टर्स ए बी सी ए बी एंड सी नाउ there can be two options either the specific thing which they have given that we are only using three characters it can be or cannot be useful because they have specifically mentioned a string having only three characters so maybe there's a high chance that maybe this can be useful or maybe as you can see it is not written in that bold character so maybe it is not might not be that useful but yeah you have to just consider this fact that maybe this information can be useful so i'll just keep this in my mind okay i'll move on now you are asked to apply the following algorithm on the string n number of times now what the algorithm is algorithm is that you pick any non empty prefix which means one character or more character you will pick him from the string in the very beginning that is a prefix of the string s where all the characters in the prefix are equal so if i pick in a specific prefix let's say the string is s if i pick in this specific prefix so all the characters let's say if this is a b so all these prefix which i am picking in right now at this step should be same okay cool what's the next thing next thing says pick any non empty suffix again remember the fact it's a non empty which means one or more character needs to be there every word has its significance so uh, from the string s and again all the characters in this suffix should also be equal so as we saw that all these characters let's say c c c and c all these should be equal okay that's condition now third condition is the prefix and suffix should not intersect each other which means that if i have some prefix and some suffix which i'm taking let's say here i took a b b b and let's say here also b it's a prefix but let's say what if i have a suffix b b itself so i cannot imagine this as a suffix and this as a prefix no they should not intersect each other no matter what so these should be disjoint like okay not intersecting with each other okay that's a condition number 3 okay great done fourth condition is the characters from prefix and suffix must be same so as we saw here that okay prefix elements should be same suffix elements should be same prefix and suffix also should be same so here i put it as a c c c so it should be same which is okay it can be a c but it should also be same as that of prefix which is b so it should be a b b b now if this is the case if these four conditions satisfy then what i can do with my prefix and suffixes i can delete both my prefix and suffix Aryan, but what's the use case of deleting? Because you want to minimize the length of s after deletion. So as if you saw here that if I had a b b b b, I can easily see my prefix have all these same elements, my suffix have all these same elements. I can simply delete it. Now this is gone. Now my entire new string becomes this this small portion of string, this middle portion of the string. That's my entire new string. So Aryan, is this applicable just for one step? No, for all these steps. I'll again keep on moving. Let's say here I had a a. here i had a a so again i can see it's a prefix now for the new string form it's a prefix for the new string form it's a suffix both have same characters both are at least both have at least one character both are non empty so both and both are same also so i can delete both of them delete them and aryan 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 what if aryan you showed that okay you have equal characters was that required in the question no so it is not required that i have equal number of characters maybe it can be very easily possible that okay i have prefix as a a suffix as a they never mentioned that prefix and suffix size should be equal so i will never assume anything which they have not given me i can just delete this as a prefix and this as a suffix are in why not why not this as the entire prefix and okay no suffix bro you forgot one condition it should not be empty suffix should have at least one character so i will for sure for sure have to take at least one character so so far you have been seeing these two things what are these just two pointers so for sure i am going in from the end and i know i would not be needing that ending po end portion ever in future because i will simply delete it down so i simply use the two pointers so as i as again again nothing i did while seeing and seeing the problem itself now i am at these locations i just need to remove it that's it so i'll just simply use two pointer itself how let's see with the example itself so we had c we had a firstly my pointers will be at these locations first condition my prefix element should have one character okay that's a c next condition 
my suffix have should have an element okay that's a but prefix and suffix should also be equal ah uh, it's not so which means which means i cannot delete them if i cannot delete them no matter in between i cannot do anything else also further because as i keep on moving which means as i delete the extreme ends then only then only i can move inside right but here i cannot here i cannot so for sure i cannot delete it go oh. now same way let's say take the next example okay c a b a a b c now i have this entire string again i will be pointing at extreme, extreme to characters i n j prefix i can take okay my prefix again i have to firstly build my prefix i can see my character in my prefix is just c so i will try to expand my prefix so that i am getting a c but i i have only one c okay so this is my prefix only now i will do the exact same thing for my suffix okay my suffix first character first candidate is a c so i will keep on expanding until i am getting a c but uh, okay there is only one c that's it okay okay i have got a, i have, i want a j now i have to match are the same yeah bro they are same okay bro they are same great then i can simply remove them when i say i'll remove them which means okay i'll simply move on and move on my i move on my j so you saw what happened you are simply removed like you will never consider them because you are only moving inside anything outside it, you imagine that it is deleted you are not actually manually going and deleting it you are just imagining it. it it is deleted and that's what a two pointer gives you a benefit that okay anything outside those pointers are actually you can imagine it is not even there itself now again i'll try to expand my prefix but it can only be expanded just once expand my suffix make them as same yeah it is same okay delete it okay move move my i move my j again same uh, both are same cool great move your i move your j again um uh, both are same yeah bro same okay bro Bo move your i move your j okay move my i move my j oh so i can just simply put a condition that while my i is less than my j i can simply keep on moving aryan why did you not put while i is less than equal to your j why you did not put that because bro if you remembered i cannot make them intersect i cannot make my prefix and suffix intersect so i have to put why i is less than j okay great again i'll make you dry run also but yeah so far let's see this okay so we have we have seen we cannot intersect it i'll i'll show you with, with, the, with the exact dry run also but yeah let's see the last example uh, we have this specific string again i have i have this prefix a but i have to get the entire prefix of a i'll expand this expanding it which means a a this is a for sure this is the suffix this is the prefix matching okay move on your i my i will move on okay my i is here my j will again be moving on j is here again b expanding b expanding okay uh, both are same okay move on j here and i here okay my prefix expanding okay my suffix expanding okay but it is not matching ah i cannot delete them if they are not matching if they would have matched i would have deleted them but they did not match so final answer is i know that my i n j stopped at here itself so this is my final string what i want the string length which is j minus i plus 1 so this is my final answer so you can see answer is 3 right for this also you saw the answer which is 2 for this you saw that no string will be remaining so answer will be zero but let's properly dry run this and see because we saw that there can be some chances of i and j pointers and that's a case although problem is very easy but this case itself how you handle i and j itself makes it a bit tricky let's let's now dry run this so what will happen what will happen simply you have your i and j and you will keep on moving while your i is less than j so i have my i here i have my j here i simply say okay while my i is less than j again this is this is one such condition while your i is less than j but you also have to make sure where is this gone okay and and you also make sure that your this character because ultimately see although i know that i will try to expand my prefix i'll try to expand my suffix but at the base i also know that okay i will also be checking my i and j elements characters also so that's also a condition so i will do that check in the very beginning itself that okay s of i should also be equal to my s of j if that is the case only then i will try to expand my prefix now when i say i expand my prefix i will just simply say okay 
while I can just take the character, let's say character C is equal to S of I. I know. I know this character C is S of I and S of J both are equal. I'm just trying to expand my prefix, expand my suffix. So I'll just say while my I is less than J and my S of I, S of I is equal to my this specific character C. So while my I is less than J because that's a condition I need to know. I should never intersect them. So I should always make sure I is less than J and then my character of S of I also is equal to J. Uh, equal to your C, then I'll simply increase my I point because I want to expand my prefix and the same way I'll expand my suffix while my I is less than J and my S of J is equal to my character then simply expand your J because J is right so it will expand backwards for sure uh, by this I'll try to expand it so if I just do a try run here itself so you will see my character C my character C is a uh, character C itself so um, it will simply say okay it is okay yeah it is okay firstly it will come inside this loop while loop it will first check okay these two are same yeah they are same so simply they will try to expand it okay i see so i will move i will move i will land here as you can see i landed here so i has become i plus plus and again uh, i have already or because see i i location have changed so right now i cannot compare s of j with the s of i because i has changed because of the above loop so I'll just now say that okay, if my S of J is equal to my character which I wanted that I was pointing to. So I will say yeah, S of J is C. Okay, simply it, I will also try to move in. Okay, now this first loop is done and I'll again keep on moving until I can delete it. Ultimately in the last I know my answer is return answer J minus I plus 1. Right, okay. Now uh, again my S of again while loop will again occur I is less than J true S of I S of S of I S of J again true let's make it a bit small yeah S of I S of J again uh, again true so because AA both characters are same so now the character a, C is A itself I'll simply say okay while I is less than J and S of I is equal to my character A move on okay I'll simply move on now my I will come here same way uh, while my i is less than j and s of j is equal to my character a okay simply move on to j also again okay it will again go on to the next loop now again i is less than j true s of i s of j equal which is b character okay true then simply your character c now it becomes a b okay simply move on move on your i okay i move on my i again move on your i until your character is same same way move on your i move on your j now now comes the interesting part make sure you listen it very carefully now by your fact by your visual representation you can easily see that this prefix and this is the suffix both are equal so ideally ideally the answer i should get ultimately should be a zero for sure both are equal so i can delete both of them that's true but see what your formula is doing again formula is correct but see what your formula is doing so s of i again why i, I is less than j okay i is here j is here okay i is less than j true uh, s of i s of j both are a that's also true character c has now become a a okay that's also great now while i is less than j and you can see i is, I is uh, less than j s of i is equal to a so yeah it is true so i will move on here now while i is less than j no i has become equal to j so it will break out from this loop now it will come on to this loop while i is less than j bro i ha and j has become equal so are you saying that you will not also come into the come into this loop are you saying that so i and j will be here itself so ultimately it will go in this and i and j has become equal so it will break here break here so j minus i plus one will give you answer of one but you knew the answer was a zero so there's one catch with you which you missed that you wanted your code to come here when i and j became equal but you did not because you thought it would be intersecting because ultimately your i increased your i increased and then it broke out from it from, from the above loop that was true but still you wanted it to come into this loop because j was never j was never considered j also had j also want to live right j also want to live so j was never allowed to even check that's an issue so what I could do is simple, simple change that while I is less than equal to your J still you can check your J because there can be a chance that your I has become equal to J while it was a B, B, while it was being increased because of being checking. 
because of it was being checked so you can just have a condition while i is less than equal to j only like only then you can have a check that okay if s of j is equal to your character a then you can move your j forward and that's the reason okay i and j will become like this and that's the reason you will get a simply answer of zero because let's say here is a three here is a two so two minus three plus one will be a zero and that's how this is an edge condition which you should be able to figure out again they are different ways to solve it you can also take the correct you, you, you can also put equal to here rather than here so there are three or four ways to solve the same problem but yeah that you can only figure out while you are doing a dry run and that's the reason i take this problem as a bit medium rather than easy so in the very beginning you might end up writing the code like this which is exactly completely fine it's just that your code will start breaking at one specific edge case when i and j will become equal while you will not be checking your j because you want they should not intersect but still we checked you missed one character to check so that's the reason either you can just specifically go and check that one character or you can just check it while here itself or you can check it by here itself it's totally up to you how you want to solve it so ultimately this is the code which you might have written but put an equal to condition and that's going to be your answer so the ultimate code which you would write is this code again exactly same while i is less than j s of i is equal to s of j find the character keep on increasing your prefix keep on increasing your suffix but while increasing your suffix make sure it is i is less than equal to j rather than i is less than j and that's how simply go and return j minus i plus 1 which is the length between i and j pointers and that's how you can just simply do by using a two pointers in time of o of n and space of o of 1 i hope that you guys got it so goodbye take care cheers